Hey guys, Drew with Credible Solar here. Um, just doing a maintenance on one of our customers. Customer hit me up and indicated that two of his micros were out and I went on site, saw that two of them did appear to be out. And now I'm just checking the original installation and where those micros were so I can go ahead and locate them. All right, so we located the micro that's not reporting as well as the one that's not producing, which is right underneath here. And I'm going to re-register and swap this one out and see what happens. See if that'll fix the uh, error code on the, the micros. Just carry some of these with you. You don't want your wires just laying on the shingles on the roof, which is extremely hot. So you're gonna wire manage these, clip these underneath here so it's just not hanging. All right, this is right back at the original screen. Looks like all 16 now have the green light. Uh, this one right here popped 22 watts. Uh, just now activating the other one, 16, it'll cut on. So the problem with these microinverters isn't the, their use case. It's great if one microinverter goes out, the rest of them still work. The problem is this amount of service calls you have to do, and it's a lot of work. You gotta get up on this steep roof, and you got to get them swapped out. That costs money, it costs time. And is the solar company you're willing, you're going with, willing to put in that work? Do they have the infrastructure put in place to actually do this? And the answer for every other solar company since the industry has started has been no. And there's very few companies out here that maintain their warranties and have been around and uh, have good reviews. 